what's up guys? Welcome back once again. Uh, it's me, Molt, from Molt Plays. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel, guys. Uh, today we're going to be doing a video on uh, beginner's first steps. So for those of you who are new to Plunder Pirates, uh, you just downloaded it or anything like that, these are going to be some of the more important things that you need to focus on to make sure that you start off effectively and, uh, and the best steps as possible. Okay, so first off, I would say the biggest thing for you to do uh, when you get your your gems in the game is uh, to make sure, I don't know why that said sold out, is to make sure that you use them on a builder's hut, all right? So you want to make sure that you have as many builder's huts as possible because as you upgrade and as you get a lot of loot, I used to, I was getting a lot of loot at the beginning of this game. Uh, and if I didn't have my four builders, I would have been in trouble. Now, you're probably not going to be able to get four right off the bat, but you should be pretty close to getting three right off the bat. So make sure that you save your gems, any gems you get from quests or from uh, exploring or any of that kind of stuff. Make sure that you use those on, uh, on a builder set, okay? And when it comes to upgrading things it's more efficient so I guess when you when it comes to using your gems it's more efficient to use your gems on troops uh, that can get you more loot than to use your gems on the uh, on the upgrades themselves so say I were to so we'll go ahead and upgrade uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade one of these mines all right so we'll upgrade this <clears throat> and just do that so that's going to be done in 18 hours. That would cost 275 gems. So that would not be a good use of, uh, of your upgrade, all right? But when you say you wanted, say I wanted to upgrade this, I could go to upgrade, and you can see that that would cost me, uh, oh, <laughs> let me find something that I can't upgrade. Okay, so we'll upgrade this. So that would cost me 1,074 gems, all right? And that's for a million five hundred and 80,000 gold. Um, instead of using that many gems, I could just come in here, I could recruit. We'll go ahead and recruit just an army of all bucks uh, and gunners. Uh, so you can see that, so that was over a thousand gems, right, to get just over a million loot. So with 16 gems for a 50 slot um, academy, uh, or tavern, <clears throat> I would be able to get a full army camp that could get me upwards of 200,000 gold, all right? So that would be five attacks. Uh, if you got five attacks of that much gold, you'd be at over a million, okay? And that would only be about 100 gems instead of 1,000. So when it comes to using your gems, generally you should use them on your troops uh, so that you can go and raid and get more loot. So that's a more effective way of using your gems than just upgrading things. You can upgrade them. I do it sometimes because I'm impatient. But if you want to be as effective and as efficient as possible, use it on your troops uh, because that way you'll get more loot out of your gems. So that's number two. Number one, builder's hut. Number two, use your gems efficiently when it comes to building or when it comes to training up your troops. All right, <clears throat> next. You don't need to protect your pirate hall uh, at lower levels. You just don't need to. It's not worth it. <laughs> because all that is is trophies at this point. And trophies don't get you any more uh, loot, really. So the biggest thing is going to be finding an area uh, of trophies. 360 is pretty high for me right now when it comes to the loot that I'm finding. Uh, I was finding a lot better at like 250. So for you... Don't protect your pirate hall. Move it outside the walls and protect your loot on the inside of the walls uh, because you're going to be at the stage where you need as much loot as possible because you're going to be upgrading quickly. At lower levels, you upgrade a lot faster. So you need builders and you need to protect your loot and you need to get as much loot as possible, which you can do by using your gems on your troops. Excuse me. Um, next, after that, it's going to be very important for you to upgrade your grog distilleries as well as your gold mines. In fact, I'm going to upgrade, uh, let's upgrade this one to 18 hours. So we're going to upgrade two gold mines in this video, and we're going to upgrade two of these grog distilleries as well. Eight, seven. So we'll upgrade this, and we will come over here and we will upgrade. Nope, that's a. Where's the other seven at? Is this a seven? 
Nope, that's an 8 too. Wow. All right, so we'll just go ahead and upgrade this one as, well, do I want to upgrade that? <laughs> now I'm all over the place. Um, no, let's upgrade this level 7 up to level 8. So that's what you, that's another thing that you want to be sure to do because while you're away, your cannons might help protect and whatnot, but you're probably not going to have that much loot and uh, not that much of your loot is going to be available to be stolen. So it's going to be very important for you to upgrade your um, <clears throat> grog distilleries and your gold mines. All right, so make sure that you do that. All right, so we're going to review real quick. All right, class, pay attention. Lesson number one. <laughs> I'm just playing. So builder's huts, using your gems efficiently. Um, town hall not being important, but protecting your loot is important. Um, back to number two, using your gems efficiently on troops instead of upgrading things. Uh, and then number four would be to upgrade your grog distillery. And next, uh, I would say the next most important thing and probably the last thing that we'll cover in this is when it comes to recruiting troops, um, you want to find an army that you're comfortable with, which you'll most likely get used to. Generally, you'll want to uh, have some brutes, and I might actually get a couple of brutes. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, no, nope, I can only do two, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to get five brutes. Generally, you want to have a tanky character. The Buccaneers are, are tanky too, so for those of you who play Clash of Clans, it's like the Barbarian and Archer, so it's like Barch. Alright, but here we have Bucks and we have Gunners, so we can call that uh, uh, Buckers or uh, Buccaneers, uh, uh, Gunniers, <laughs> that just sounds like Gunners. So it's going to be that kind of strategy, you always want to have a troop with you that can take damage, so that's going to be the Buccaneer and the Brute in this army camp. Uh, all right, so we'll go ahead and oops didn't mean to, didn't mean to do that So we'll go ahead and oh was this the other one? No, that one's level nine So we'll go ahead and we'll go plunder. All right. Here's uh, another example. This is the map whenever you sign off make sure that you come Over to the map. I Didn't realize there was sound playing. Uh, I'm gonna turn that off whenever you come over to the map uh, You'll see that you can explore obviously, but before you sign off for the day explore any time before you sign off, train up a couple troops and explore because that way you're not waiting on it to happen while you're playing, okay? So that's another little tip for you guys as you're beginning in Plunder Pirates. But let's go search, and um, obviously the search is going to look a little bit different than yours is. I know I have a shield. Normally you wouldn't want to break your shield unless you were going to be on for a little while. So there's another tip for you as you're protecting your loot and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> you want to keep your shield as long as possible in order to protect your loot. So you can see this guy, he has his pirate hall way over here on the side, and he does have a bunch of loot that's out and about. Um, shoot, I can probably get a lot of it. We're definitely going to fight this guy. So you'll want to drop down your tanky troops in the front, okay? And then you're going to want to drop down your DPS troops or your gunners in the back just like that so we're gonna drop down two more of these guys drop down a couple more bucks and drop down a couple more gunners and then uh, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll just drop down the rest of them over here and then eventually you guys will get abilities with your troops as well uh, I hope we can get some gold we're just getting a bunch of grog right now I think um, but the whole point of the heavier troops that have more health and do less damage is that they can take more damage. So they kind of form a wall for you, and the uh, higher DPS troops will be behind them. I think that it's lagging right now, or it's frozen or something. There it goes. Um, it might not have been for you guys in the recording, but the whole point of that is to have a wall of health uh, in the front and then you have the DPS behind them that come in DPS stands for damage per second Then you have the damage per second coming in behind them that will cause a lot of damage uh, And we'll go ahead and use this ability again As You can see we got a good amount of the grog from this guy and about half of his gold Which is really good. Uh, we're only at 30% so I'm not really too worried about anything else. We actually just uh, so we defeated so we lost but I wouldn't say that we lost because we got 140,000 grog, 93,000 gold. Um, I'm perfectly fine with that. You'll probably be getting bigger raids than that uh, because when you're in lower trophy counts, that's generally what you'll find. Um, so to review, guys, again, you want to make sure that you have that you spend uh, initially you spend your gems on builder huts, okay, and then after you get your gems, 
if you want to spend them on anything or after you get more gems, if you get a gift card or if you get them from doing quests, whatever it may be, you're going to want to spend them on troops because troops will get you uh, troops will get you more loot for the amount of gems that you spend. All right, Then you want to, what was it? You don't have to protect your town hall. You have to protect your resources as you start off. Um, and then training up troops that have a barrier, so like the buccaneer or the brute, and then the gunners behind them. Uh, I think that was it. Oh, and upgrading upgrading your grog distilleries as well as your gold mines is going to be important. And then one of the most important things is every day when you play, you have to do this. You have to go to, into the camera mode and you have to watch it because these freaking graphics are absolutely amazing. All right, so make sure that you guys do that. If you've started off in the game and you're having fun or you have questions or anything like that, comment them down below. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. We are almost maxed out Pirate Hall 5 moving on up. And uh, yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, if you have any questions, comment down below. Uh, you can holler at me, you can call me Molt, you can call me Mike, whatever you want to. But as always, I'm going to need all of you guys to keep calm and plunder on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.